Hi. The, uh, the good, good folks at Bloomberg had an interesting story out today about uh, a number of the president's top donors being those who have profited uh, from corporate inversion at the same time the president has condemned. Uh, so I'm wondering, just a very simple question, is the president going to be uh, asking Democrats to return money uh, contributed or seeking to return money uh, contributed uh, by some of these corporate inversion? No. As you know, John, we are not privy to the details and have no role in any company's plans. But what the president is focused on is stopping the problem and stopping companies from renouncing their citizenship just to get out of paying their fair share of taxes is something that just can't wait. That is why the president called on Congress to do this. That is also why. Um, We've noted that the last time Congress closed this loophole was in 2004 with bipartisan majorities in the House and in the Senate and signed into law by a Republican president. Um, so we're going to continue to explore whether there are steps we can take with or without waiting for Congress um, to further encourage companies to build their businesses and create jobs here at home. This is political, essentially the president's profited himself as his political apparatus, profited uh, by taking contributions from, from people who made money doing exactly this? I guess I would understand the skepticism more if we weren't doing something to tackle the problem. But instead, we are going after um, any company that renounces its U.S. citizenship in order to pay more in tax in order to pay less in taxes. So why not renounce those donations? What we're renouncing is the practice of um, using shifty accounting in order to avoid um, paying their fair share and which subsequently uh, passes on to middle-class families. Can I ask one other? Uh, Ethel Kennedy laid down a direct